Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Do your research before trying e-STEM. Always play below the heart line, but beginners should always start below the waist to further reduce risk. Read all warnings on your equipment before playing, be risk aware, and have fun. Hey you folks, we're in my living room, I mean my YouTube studio. And today we'll be trying three different tin units at three drastically different price points to see what is worth it. If you like these videos, consider subscribing and comment below if you prefer this style of video or the traditional review style. Starting with our sports tins unit, these friends to athletes and budget kingsters alike were first invented in 1974 by Clyde Norman Shelley. Shelley? Shelley? But I don't know. However, there were other devices that preceded it. This particular unit is from Walgreens. It is quite unlike many of the other units that we have on display here as it does not have leads. And the shape of the pads make me think that it'd be kind of difficult to use on genitals and you definitely can't insert anything with this little guy. However, it packs some punch. It has five different patterns and 15 different intensity levels. Nine made me tap out, but let's see where Jasper's at. All right, time to get zapped. <laughs> you say I'm a professional? Pro. Pro zap. Right, so that's my first time trying this. this live on air, you know. It's not live. A few moments later. <laughs> 12? Like it's 13? I have a high tolerance. Also, it's, 14? My, it's my thigh, and I probably do have pain here. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> no, this is pretty good. You could kind of see a little bit of twitching in the muscle. I definitely could see how for a sports application, this would be pretty good. Uh, as a torture or a fun application, this definitely has a lot of good potential depending on where you place it. Like this area of the thigh has a little less sensitivity compared to like say the upper inner thigh. I'd be interested to see how this is if you put it on say like the belly or anything else like that mm -hmm. or like the butt, the buttock. The buttock. Um, if anything for sensation play this would be a lot of fun. I think that's as high as it goes. Yeah, I was just <laughs> making sure that was on 15 and I was like damn. It definitely sting a little bit. But, like, it's more therapeutic sting. Cool, let's leave it there, then. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, as we said before, this particular unit doesn't use leads, but Walgreens does make a unit that does, for around the same price point. Theoretically, you could mix and match accessories with that box. However, I would check manuals both for that box and the accessories that you are wanting to play with before attempting that. Now it's time for our... First, Electrofact. Did you know that the earliest use of electric muscle stimulation dates back to 500 BC? What? Yeah, the Egyptians were real kinky. I believe it. What haven't they thought of? Right, caning, electrostim, like they were really ahead of the curve. Pyramids. The pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> pyramids just giant butt plugs for the gods. Next, we have the budget unit from Fort Trough that retails at around $100. Sadly, Fort Trough doesn't sell this particular unit anymore, but they do sell a similar unit for the same exact price point. This unit comes with a plug, two cock rings, and four pads. It is a dual channel unit with a smooth increase of intensities from one to a um, hidden 10. Let's give it a try for all time's sake. Okay. It definitely feels maybe about as strong as I remember. Maybe a little stronger. It's been a while. Pain fades with memory. But if this is a maximum, I mean. Yeah, there's nowhere else to really go from here. Right. You can just play with the... Uh... <laughs> right, you can just play with the pattern from ah. right now. <laughs> the first one was Pulse. This is currently on the cycle mode. If it's just on Pulse, it's easy. But yeah. I will say some of the other more consistent patterns like the wave. are definitely <laughs> noticeably more stingy. Still tolerable. I haven't fallen over yet. Yeah. Excruciating pain, so. I'll just save that for the last one. Oh, no. <laughs> the main complaint with this one is that it's not strong enough. I may have a high electrical pain tolerance from fucking with computers for years. <laughs> No, not like that, unless. But even for a beginner like me, I only start feeling it about halfway through and 
You heard what Jasper's reactions were. Great for beginners. So with that, it's time for another Electro Fact. Did you know that echidnas and platypi have over 40k? Not like Warhammer. <laughs> Nerd. Electrical sensors on their weird mouth things, I, mouth beaks. I did not know that. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. It's like a shark. What? Yeah. I'm a nerd. Lastly, we have our upgraded pick, the Tesla of these units. Except it's not a meme. Gotta shout on Elon Musk at least once per video. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Electrostem Flip Duo that retails at $309 before shipping. It is a dual channel power box, quite like the Fort Trough unit, and comes with similar accessories, including a plug, four of these pads, some cock loops, and additionally, with some conductive gel, and they also give you water brace lube, but I already used it. Now, I would like to point out a couple of differences, and besides the fact that one comes with conductive gel. The cock loops, I think, were slightly a more innovative design to, like, the little strappies that come with the Fort Troth one, but guess what? I don't have the equipment to actually use that type of uh, ring whereas you came up with some innovation where those loops could be put around say nipples and used to do that or if you're also transmasculine um, and have enough bottom growth you can actually loop it in i tried True. that myself um, the one issue with that is that you do kind of need to have both loops on for current to flow very well but if you're at the higher end, you'll still feel it with one. So the fun thing about this power box and why it's called the Flick Duo is that you can switch it into the Flick Mode. Now what the Flick Mode gives you is that when you flick it, <laughs> it sends a jolt of electricity to whoever's hooked up. And the jolt only intensifies when you up the power. <laughs> But talking about power, these boxes pack a particular punch. We didn't get anywhere near the top end when we were playing with this, and Jasper was still screaming. Yes, I was. Yeah, you have a lot of different patterns. You have, like, over 20 different, like, high-end intensities. Like... Ah! <laughs> Yellow! Oh, I had the wrong lead. That's why you could do 16. Like, it's tolerable, but this feels... About as intense as the uh, Walgreens 15. And we're only at 9 of 25. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> However, something I wasn't too thrilled about is the size of the plug. If we compare this to the Fort Trough one, especially with the size of this base, it feels like you're literally one yank of the leads from an ER trip. So now it's time for our last electro fact. Yeah. Because I brought up Teslas before, did you know that early violet ones use Tesla coils? What? What's a Tesla coil? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I do feel like that's something that Nikola Tesla would love his name associated with versus, you know, like elongated muskrat. Yeah. For me, the winner of the best value goes to the Electrostem. You'll get the most mileage out of this box. The lows are low, but the highs get pretty intense, and you'll have a lot of room to grow. Additionally, there's a wider variety of accessories, but you could mix and match the accessories between this box and the Fort Trough unit if you wanted so, because Fort Trough even does sell some of the Electrostem products on their site. But your mileage may vary because I haven't tested every single accessory on both boxes because I don't own all the accessories. What about you, Jasper? What's your best value? I mean, I have to agree with you. You know, you might eventually reach a point where they can tolerate uh, a certain level on the Fort Troth one, but with this, you get a little more variety and a little bit more sensation play, as well as the fact that they have so many accessories that you can eventually add. If you can save up and get that, absolutely. Um, but if you can't, I mean, Fort Troth's box uh, is a good entry level, just know that if you turn up, like, if you end up being more into this um, kind of play, that eventually you're going to have to get another, like, box entirely that has a higher range of power. 
So if you like the video, like the video, comment below what I should review next, and subscribe. As always, my links are down in the description, and have a great rest of your day or whenever you're watching this. Okay, bye.